Alright. So, so I'm pre I think I woke up. Usually, I don't wake wake up during the night unless I hear movements. So I'm like, I can usually feel someone in the room or hear someone walking around. And yes, I know, I know. Shut your mouth, Amar. I'm trying to tell my story. Look, he's this idiot. What the hell? You, you call that driving? Are are you done, Lamar? Cause you interrupted my story like twice now. Probably more. Oh, well, okay. You're, no, I guess not. Why not both? All right, so I woke up. Me and my, my, I was sleeping on the first bed to coming into the room, and my dad was sleeping in the second bed next to, like, three feet away from my bed, and my grandma was sleeping somewhere else. Uh, oh my god! Look at this! Look at these stupid! Car oh my god! These drivers! You call these driving? Drivers, professional drivers, uh, they're regular people, but you know what I mean. And I'm oh, sorry, sir. All right, so what the hell's going on here? All right, make sure you don't shoot me. I'm, pro I'm pro we're probably going to do a shootout here. This is way too. All right, I'm going to stay quiet here. Mm -hmm. A lot of beaver. Oh, shit, I'm going first person. Dude, these guys are getting shot up. You dare mess up with the deals? Oh god, they're coming. Oh, that guy got wrecked. Oh, snipers in the rooftop? You don't say. We got him, we got him. Thanks for the info. I'll be sure to... Oh, sure, I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, they blew up. Oh, you... You're not serious, are you? Oh god. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Oh, just die, just die. Oh no, 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 no! Please, please, please. Oh! Oh god. Inventory, inventory, body armor! Don't let me die! What happened? Oh, all right. I, just, I thought it was mission failure. <laughs> like I said, guys, not a big deal, right? Vernon's gonna be so pleased with this. You guys did a great job. Man, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Y'all fucked up. Man, Vernon gonna be pissed. Fuck. Look, man. Look. Okay, I'm sure. You try, and you fail miserably as fuck. But like a wise boss that I am, I forgive your bitch ass. The fuck out of here, man. Thank you for trying, man. I'll holler at you later, man. I'm about to go get some trees in. I said we just shoot up Lamar right now. We still have the chance. Come on. Mano y mano. We still have a chance. Alright, so it was dark. It was uh, around, two, I'm not sure, probably 2 a.m. And when I woke up, I was still in my bed, you know, just right there. And I. Uh, no, I. 100% sure. 
that I heard someone walking in the room, and my dad was still asleep in his bed. And yeah, I, I now this isn't any order any ordinary person that's walking around. The footsteps sound different. Now you know how um, old people when they walk, they they tend to uh, do like a shuffling noise when they walk. Well, that's how it sounds in the room right now. Now, uh, start to walk from. I'm trying to remember. It was starting to walk not from the door, but the front of my bed. All right, so, uh, and yeah, it was walking with a shuffling noise towards uh, my, the side of my dad's bed, and it was like walking back and forth in front of in front of our beds, just walking, and I I heard it like I I wasn't freaking freaking out, like I was I was thinking like it can't be my grandma because my grandma. Uh, would have been making noises to move the the table, and I didn't hear any noises moving the table. And when I I'm when I'm looking I'm looking. There's no one there. Absolutely no one there. I can only hear the footsteps. And I woke up my dad and I told him, "Do do you do you hear the footsteps?" And he told me that he didn't. I think after I t- I called him like, "Hey hey, do you look? Do you hear that?" Uh, the footsteps went away, and I couldn't hear any longer. I was around, I'd say, 10, 11. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was 10, around 10, 11 years old. Probably 12. And yeah, I heard that, and I'm pretty sure it was someone, uh, like an old spirit. Uh, I asked my dad that uh, he didn't have any idea who that was, and my dad was thinking that maybe it was his, his dad, because his dad had passed away before uh, I was born. And yeah, he was, he he thinks that it was his dad uh, looking over me, pretty much. And yeah, it was it was pretty pretty weird. Like I heard the noise, and it was pretty pretty creepy. Not creepy, but it was just weird, you know. Uh, these kind of things don't really creep me out, unless it's like uh, the banshee, which freaking scared the living crap out of me. If you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure I made a video about it. It was called I Heard a Banshee, I think. Where I literally heard a banshee. And it wasn't any ordinary woman. It was a banshee. I I am 100% sure it was. Because no banshee, uh, no woman would be screaming their lungs out in the middle of an alley. Heading all the way to the top of the alley. to the a- And coming back three times. And Lamar's calling. Hey, what do you want, Lamar? You Cough twice if it's one time on the line. <laughs> Well, they got Gerald. Man, he's locked up, man. They about to airlift him to a secure facility. All because of that thing we did for Vernon. So you're going to have to go on over to Strawberry, man. We're going to have to boost the homie before he flies. Or Vernon flies off the handle. So this mission is saving Gerald, I guess? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And yeah, that's that's what happened. It was It was weird. And I'm trying to think of another story that I can tell you. Because uh, this is a perfect time for freaking ghost stories, especially. Most of my stories are nothing but ghost stories, supernatural stories, myth, like a mythical creature story. If you consider the Banshee a mythical creature, uh, what kind of weapons do you have? Do I need any ammo for any weapons? Or maybe grenades? I get this. Oh, machete. Hello. 8,000. 8, I'll take it. Oh, machine pistol. Oh, I'm taking this. I am taking this. Mm. Oh, flashlight. Oh my god, this is freaking awesome. This is what I've always wanted. I didn't know there was weapons too. This is freaking awesome. Can I do anything other than that? Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't done yet. I wasn't done yet. Oh my goodness, a flashlight. You already have this. I already have this. I already. Ha- I don't have any of this, but it's too expensive and I don't even need it. And then I like this pistol over here. Look at that. Mm. Sexy. Alright, and uh, that's it. Is there anything over here? Just a regular knife. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, any armor spooks? Scary spooky. God bless America. Yeah, God bless America. America. Alright, let's get to the car. And, oh, it's raining. That's good. You know? And, yeah. That's... Uh, I haven't thought of any other story that has happened to me that's supernatural. Um, Alright. 
there is this one, but I think the what it was is that I was around five years old, six years old, I think. Now this was in my old house. I, uh, I, this I've moved uh, twice. No, just once in my life, and my old house was was a lot uh, more. What's going on here? Is this is where you buy. Look at this guy's car. Look at him. The Albany Primo with the. That looks pretty cool, I have to admit. But, let me look for a story around here. Oh, it's over here. Now, my old house, it was, uh, wasn't, didn't look as good as my current house, or my dad's, or my parents' house, since I don't really own it. I hadn't, I didn't do any paintings. But, yeah, and. What happened was I got sleep paralysis. Now I'm not sure if this happened the same night, 